because I want to roll it over. Right. Okay, now I'm going to knock just a little bit of that off. Boy, it there. really just chews it up. Oh, it don't take just I a barrel. I see you're not breaking a sweat. No, I'm not breaking <laughs> a sweat at all. A lot so, easier than the rest. Right. And so I'm moving that flare off and I'm oh, running wow. that over at the same Beautiful. time. Knock that heel down just a little bit so that's a little high. Yeah, I've rounded that off here. Right. So once I get on a hoof stand, I'll sort of smooth that out. But I've got what I want here. I've rounded mm -hmm. it off. Mm -hmm. I've took out all the flare there, even all the way. But I got just a little bit right there, so I'm gonna knock that out while I got it there. This is where it's missed, and this makes that wall get straight. I'm going all the way to the buttress and take that off of there. That's a big flare there. See that? Yeah. And so that way, this foot will start getting back in the center of the horse. Now I'm going to come around here. I, this, this is not a flare, but it needs some of it off. It's too long there, so I'm going to round that off. Now I noticed you choke right up on that. Yeah, that way I can do it a little or a lot. Okay. In other words, I don't have to. I can really bear down a little bit. And you just have more control over it. Okay. Now, Ralph, in the course of a day with this Merlin, how many more horses do you think you could trim? I believe I could do 50. <laughs> then, I see you can hardly drink were, the if, sweat. <laughs> if they were gentle. Uh -huh. you know. And you can really just take your time and do a great job. Oh, yeah. I can just about do the whole foot and never you're not move. fighting against yourself? Exactly. He's got a lot of hook, too. This horse is not been. See, I, now I'm about, oh, I'd say a good half inch away. Okay. It looks like I'm close to the sole, but really I'm not. Because I'm just getting my mark to where I want this foot. He's got a lot, of, a lot of foot. I'm coming right on around here. And I'm, I'm taking my time. I could really rip this off in just a matter of seconds if I wanted to. Well, it's nice. You can take your time and do a really nice job because oh, it's you not can do a, hard a, on you at all. Oh, a big horse? Oh, you can knock it out. Now, I chose this horse to do the demo because he's got a lot of foot, and I wanted to show how he You take a Belgian horse, and I've got this on low. I don't have it on high. And I'm going to roll that around, see, just lightly, make that a roll. That way you don't, you don't want it sharp like you're going to chew it. And I'm going to take this sole right here, you've got a little hump right there, I'm going to get that down. And I'm going to go around that sole just a little bit, right where you're walking on it there, right. knock it down just a little. And that's, then I'm going to get this bar just a tad. That was a lot of foot. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to put it down. I see it's all over you. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> but the thing about it, you know, I'm not wearing any cap right. because the reason, and I recommend wearing cap, but the reason it gets in the camera's way and so on and so forth. So you can see. Now what I'm going to do is get the camera lady to come around here and look how around. See, it looks like it's bobbed, and that's what you mm -hmm. want on the trim. Mm -hmm. You don't want it flat, flat in the foot. I'll make the camera person see that. And not ever Ooh, move. Look nice. at that. Nice. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. Now, come on around to the front and see, I'm going to polish this up just a tad. Here. Okay. I'm going to take just polish that baby up just a little bit. Look at that. Okay, and see, I don't get up on the hoof wall horn because I don't want to sit there and because really, you start getting up in here on the hoof horn too much, and it's not necessary. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a little sealant on there. And uh, right around the edge. And then I'm going to pick him up, put some on the bottom. Now, Ralph, what's the purpose of the sealant? Any place, any time you break, breaking, uh, when you when you uh, work on a hoof mm -hmm. and you've got the, uh, you broke, it's like breaking the enamel on a tooth. Right. Okay, once you've done that, you want to put something on there to hold it in. Trimming means exactly what it says, trimming. It does not mean shoeing, flattening the foot, and so on. But you still want to balance the horse. Mm -hmm. So what I did, I took a little heel off one side where it, the one would wore down a little bit. Okay. Yep. 
So the other side was a little high, so I took a little off of that. And then one side was a little high, I took a little off. You notice I didn't pare out the sole, didn't mm -hmm. do anything. Mm -hmm. There's where we're running into a lot of lame problems. We're paring out the foot like we're gonna shoe it, but we're trimming. And so the point is you wanna trim the foot, keep the horse healthy, so therefore you wanna trim him back more like he's natural. Okay? okay, and natural means getting him back more like a day before. So when you get your head right here on the knee, look straight down, you'll see one side is rolled under a little. So if we keep removing that, that uh, side from mm -hmm. that third mm -hmm. nail back, or fourth nail back to the buttress, get that flare out, that foot will get more straight and it'll be symmetrical. Okay. So you got six steps to a foot anyway. All right. So you can see how easy, and this horse, you see how much foot he's got, right, a lot of right. foot. And I had that thing on low. I was just barely, mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. barely piddling with it. So let's go back over some things. And that thing is the Merlin hoof trimming kit. You bet. But the thing by is, King Arthur. but the thing you got to remember is your safety. Right. And you want to get your drop cord out of the way. You mm -hmm. want to get the horse used to what you're mm -hmm. doing by holding, going through one arm, mm -hmm. and getting him used to the vibration, and just gradually get into it. And once you start doing that, horse gets used and to it. And absolutely wear a glove. Exactly, because the next time you do it, it'll be a lot easier. Mm -hmm. So the first time he might jump around a little bit, but it won't be long he'll be doing it. Hey gang, if you need a little bit of help, then come down to Research Center and we'll be more glad to go over it with you. And hey, this tape, I hope it helps you. If you've got any questions, give us a call. We'll be glad to answer them for you. For those of you who love horses and want to work outdoors and be your own boss, you may want to consider a career as a certified farrier. It's hard work, but very rewarding. One of the most highly recognized schools in the United States is right here in Villanelle, Georgia, owned and operated by Ralph Casey since 1989. The Casey & Son Horseshoeing School has received the Horseshoeing School of the Year Award for over eight years. With Casey as your head instructor, you will receive the most up-to-date training in farrier science that is not available at any other school. Well, I think our school offers I mean, so much more. A kid can come here, I think, and probably in six weeks have a real 12-week education. Look at the school and visit, and uh, it's a good idea. And uh, if you can't do that, well, sign up for a two-week course and come see how you like it. Hey gang, 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 hey gang. welcome to Horseshoe and Time, let's talk. Now that's the whole purpose of having a research center gang and a television show where we can actually research things because throughout history nobody has ever really researched farrier science and for the first time the farriers and the horse owners come together and built a research center wherein that they could investigate products, they could investigate new ways of shoeing to help protect and keep our horses healthy. We so tickle that you're watching the show and hey grab a horse owner by the arm, twist him a little bit, bring him in and tell him about our show. Watch us next week on Horseshoe and Time and right after that, Horseshoe and Time, let's talk. And remember this gang, a happy horse. It's a happy horse.